where the Secretary and I have a very profound difference. In the last debate, and I believe in her book, very good book, by the way, in her book and in this last debate, she talked about getting the approval or the support or the mentoring of Henry Kissinger. Now, I find it rather amazing because I happen to believe that Henry Kissinger was one of the most destructive secretaries of state in the modern history of this country. I am proud to say that Henry Kissinger is not my friend. I will not take advice from Henry Kissinger. And in fact, Kissinger's actions in Cambodia, when the United States bombed that country, overthrew Prince Sihanouk, you know, created the instability for Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge to come in, who then butchered some three million innocent people, one of the worst genocides in the history of the world. So count me in as somebody who will not be listening to Henry Kissinger. Well, I know journalists have asked who you do listen to on foreign policy, and we have yet to know who that is. Well, it ain't Henry I, Kissinger, that's, that's fine. for sure. That's fine. <laughs>
Franklin Delano Roosevelt um, took the oath of office in 1933 at a time when 25% of the American people were unemployed. The country was in incredible despair. And he stood before the American people and he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. A profound statement that gave the American people the courage to believe that yes, we could get out of that terrible depression. And then what he did is redefined the role of government. You know, you had Herbert Hoover before that saying, no, oh, we're going to only worry about the deficit, so what if mass unemployment exists, so what if children are going hungry, that's not the role of the government. And what FDR said, yeah, it is. That we're going to use all of the resources that we have to create jobs, to build homes, to feed people, to protect the farmers. We are a nation which, if we come together, there is nothing that we could not accomplish. And kind of, that's what I see our campaign is about right now. In this particular moment of serious crises, saying to the American people, don't give up on the political process. Don't listen to the Trumps of the world and allowing them to divide us. If we re-engage and get involved, yeah, we can have health care for all people. We can make public colleges and universities tuition free. We do not have to have massive levels of income and wealth inequality. In the same light as a foreign leader, Winston Churchill's politics were not my politics. He was kind of a conservative guy in many respects. But nobody can deny that as a wartime leader, he rallied the British people when they stood virtually alone against the Nazi juggernaut and rallied them and eventually won an extraordinary victory. Those are two leaders that I admire very much.